Hey guys, quickly before this video, I, I just started editing this video and I want to reiterate a few things at the start. Uh, be sure to show your friends this video because you guys are totally getting shammed. Like, I just watched a couple more videos about it uh, where these people don't mention monitor refresh rates. Be sure to show your friends and watch through the whole video to, add, to add, understand how to actually improve your FPS. And I do want to reiterate this as well. If you are constantly displaying less than 60 FPS, those videos will, will work for you. Other videos will work for you. But if you're just if you display more than 60 FPS and you think you're going to see a difference in your monitor and it can't display that much, you are totally getting shammed by these videos. Uh, you might not understand right now what I'm saying if you do, but watch this video and you will. I just want to reiterate that point again. Uh, again, be sure to show your friends. I want to make sure that you guys are actually understanding how frame rates work and how they are displayed and where you will actually see improvements and where you won't. Do not be misled. <laughs> Please don't be misled. I'm trying to help you guys here. So enjoy the video. Let's get right into it and heck yeah yo what is going on today guys it is sam here and today i am playing the new hypixel duels update which i will have another in-depth video talking about that in a bit but the most important thing i want to talk to you guys about today is this guy how am i at two hearts already all right this is the most legitimate thing i've ever seen Anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about FPS, and I've seen a ton of YouTubers uploading videos about how to improve your frames, and they're really not accurate, okay? Like, there's, okay, this guy is either cheating or, like, Jesus Christ reincarnated. Okay, he's now he's cheating. That's good, okay. Anyway, like I said, there's a ton of videos out there talking about how to improve your FPS, but there's really only a, a, a hard cap on how much frames you can actually see. All right, so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is monitor refresh rates. And what is a monitor refresh rate? Your monitor refresh rate is pretty much what it sounds like. It's how many times uh, your monitor refreshes per second, right? Standard monitors that you buy, you know, Walmart or whatever, have 60 hertz refresh rates. And, and what are hertz? Hertz are bas is basically the frequency in which your monitor is refreshing. Uh, that's just how it's measured scientifically. So that is the, like the, the proper saying for how many frames you can get per second. Right, so like I said, standard monitors are gonna have 60 hertz refresh rates. And if you wanna see what your monitor's refresh rate is, you're gonna right click your screen, click display settings, then it's gonna pull up like your, your monitor stuff. You're gonna wanna scroll down to display adapter properties. Then it's gonna open up a tab that says, that the far left tab is gonna say adapter. The second one is gonna say monitor. And you're gonna wanna click the monitor tab. Now, once you've clicked the monitor tab, it's going to pull up a screen that says it's, it's going to say Hertz, and then there's going to be a number to the left of it. Whatever that number is displaying is how many frames a second your monitor can display. Right, so what these YouTubers are saying is like, they're giving you guys all these tips to improve your in-game FPS, but really what they're not telling you, or maybe they don't know, is that if you're not get, if you're getting more frames than your monitor can refresh per second, you're not actually going to see a difference because your monitor can only physically display 60 FPS, right? And now there are three tiers of monitors out there right now that are kind of like standard. There's like your standard monitor, which is 60 hertz refresh rate, your more better for gaming monitor, which is 144 frames and then there's like the super high end one which is 240 fps or 240 hertz rather me personally i actually recently bought a 240 hertz monitor so my game can only display or my monitor can literally only display 240 frames per second in my game so if i'm getting more than you know 240 fps there's physically no difference that i can see like it's literally impossible to see any more than that because that's how much my monitor can display and that's that right like if you have 60 hertz your monitor is incapable of displaying more than 60 fps so if you're getting tips that say how to get more than 60 fps in minecraft the video is basically a total sham because there's nothing that they can tell you that will actually improve what you're seeing. So there's really no difference in what's, what's, what you're being told to do. There's no point. So the main thing that I want you guys to take is that what you're being told doesn't actually make a difference. So you should, you should be explaining these. They're making this video, right? Like it's, it's up to them why they make the video. They're not actually helping you. So you should just like, I, I'm not saying to go like hate on any given YouTuber for doing it, but just know that they're not actually doing anything to help you. Like at the end of the day, it's just kind of like a, a, a clickbait ish title. That's not actually going to improve anything for you as a player. Uh, so if you want to improve your play, right. And you have a decent PC. Okay. Let, let me back up a second. If you're getting less than 60 FPS, right? These tips on those videos will actually help you. So that I want to make that clear. If you're getting less than 60 FPS, then it's totally fine to like 
do try those settings or whatever. But if you have a 60 hertz monitor and you're watching this video, like a video of somebody telling you like how to improve your FPS and you're like lowering all your graphic settings to say get 120 FPS when you only have a 60 hertz monitor, you're basically sacrificing quality that you don't need to lose to see zero improvement, right? So that's that stuff needs to be brought up in those videos. And I haven't seen any video that actually brings it up. So I want to bring it up to you guys now about how you might be getting misled. If you have a 60 hertz monitor and you constantly are getting 60 FPS or more, you can afford to go on higher graphical settings rather than have to suffer a quality loss to improve your frames that you literally won't be able to see an improvement from like i could limit my frames at 240 fps right now and i wouldn't see a difference i just don't like limiting in my fps i like seeing good fps because it makes my make me, makes me feel good about my computer all right now moving on to the refresh rates again um if you want to see a big improvement in your fps all right and you have a pc that can handle it you have a dedicated graphics card that can constantly clock 144 fps buy a 144 hertz monitor okay that's the best improvement i've seen in any game ever if you want to see smoother games and see an improvement in your frames the best thing you can do is save up for a 144 hertz monitor now before you buy it let me say this make sure that you have a dedicated graphics card that can actually clock these frames you know any of the more recent nvidia cards even from the 800 series would be able to clock 144 fps in a game like minecraft because minecraft is more cpu intensive and those cards will be able to handle it fairly easily all right but make sure before you buy it your pc can actually handle it if you want to take gaming seriously i'm telling you right now if you want to improve your play and you want to see an improvement in your play and in your fps you buy a 144 hertz monitor they are on the more expensive side because they do have those higher refresh rates that's where you're going to see the most expensive monitors they either have really high resolution or really high refresh rates right uh you're gonna i'm, tell, I'm telling you guys you want to buy a 144 hertz monitor it's the best improvement I've seen in games ever. It's like you're in a whole new game, to be completely honest. It's like it's, it's like a whole new world when it comes to games when you buy this monitor. Uh, but again, I really just want you guys to know you're getting totally shammed if you're lowering your settings and your monitor is physically incapable of displaying the additional FPS you're getting. <laughs> like, it's, it's literally not working. So I, I, that's the real way to improve your FPS in Minecraft. Buy a better monitor. <laughs> um, okay, dude, why are you bowing me? I just want to make sure that you will under- Dude, oh my god, put down the bow for the love of god, dude. Simoco007, I, I, at least he's lobbing me now. That's, that's a step up. Okay, I'm just going to combo him really, really hard now. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. But again, be sure to comment on these videos to let people know as well. Like it's it's more to, the most important thing is your monitor's refresh rate, not your ability to actually clock frames. You're, if you clock frames and you don't have the refresh rates to support those frames, you're just wasting your graphics quality and your PCs like uh the, you're putting more stress on your pc that it doesn't even need to have because okay dude oh my god you're putting that stress on your pc that it, it doesn't need to have and we're dropping quality for literally no reason like it, it it doesn't matter like you're just wasting your time so be sure to look into refresh rates just google like how to how to buy a 144 hertz monitor or how to how to check your refresh rate on your monitor because i actually have known one or two people that have had the 144 hertz that um don't actually get those frames and let me say this as well uh you you cannot get 144 hertz with an HDMI cable. You need a DVI cable or a DisplayPort cable. Um, I used to use an HDMI cord, except that I wasn't able to display the frames. And if you buy this monitor, you actually have to go in the display adapter properties and set the refresh, refresh rate to 144. It's It comes standard set to 60. So if you want to do that, I mean, just look up how to set your monitor refresh rate to 144 hertz, and that'll quickly, uh, that'll quickly fix the problem for you. Uh, but again, do not fall for these videos where they tell you all these ways to improve your fps and you're not actually going to see any improvement you they, they forget to mention that you actually have to have the 144 hertz monitor so be sure to go buy the monitor if you guys if you guys really want to see it um save up for it for a christmas gift or something like that save up for it i def it's if you want to play games seriously that's the most important thing you should buy don't even buy a new mouse don't even buy this or that just save up to buy a 144 hertz monitor and that's where you're really going to see the improvement so I hope this video helped you guys understand uh, how to improve your frames, like literally. Um, the other ways don't work, like it's it, it doesn't do anything. Okay, what is, uh, high pixels hit registration truly is something else, man. It's It truly is something else, but thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna kill this guy and then end the video. I will have a video talking about duels 
here in the near future. Um, I'm going to talk about people running for nine years, which is why uh, I'm fighting this guy right now. I think that's a prime example, but be sure to actually do your research about this. If you see videos like this, be sure to comment if they're not mentioning monitor refresh rates because if they're making videos talking about FPS, again, if they don't bring up monitor refresh rate, they either don't know what they're talking about or like it's just like a, a cheeky video with no substance behind it. So uh, I hope that helped. I'll see you guys later. Until then, peace out.